Hello, Aquarius. This is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your weekly tarot reading for May 8th through the 14th, 2023. And please take a moment to like, share, subscribe to help support my channel. So take what resonates, leave the rest, and let's just jump into your reading. First up, you have the Knight of Coins. Next, the Five of Coins. The Eight of Cups. And bottom of the deck, your overall energy for the week. You have the Ten of Cups. Crystal for the week, Kyanite. And your Oracle message is broken open. All right, Aquarius, very strong message this week about in regards to what you do for a living, your work environment, your job, your career, the field that you're in, and how possibly overtaxing, stressful it is. And if that is the case, if that resonates, this reading is going to be kind of addressing that and what you need to do. Now, first, I am looking at your bottom of the deck, your overall energy here, and you do have the very nice Ten of Cups. But I feel this is almost like an outcome energy that could be what you're striving for, especially if you're in a stressful situation. It can be in regards to relationships or something other than your job, but the strongest energy that I'm picking up, this is work-related, could be something that you're really working on, focused on, could be that as well, but, you know, Ten of Cups is like the happily ever after card. It's wanting you're wanting to have um, a very happy relationship with someone, having friends, having a nice home, everything just being very harmonious, balanced. And I feel everyone strives to have that kind of peace and harmony in their lives. But life gets in the way. So let's take a look at your other cards here, Aquarius. And first card here, you have the Knight of Coins. This is the Knight of Pentacles. And the main thing when the Knight of Pentacles turns up in a reading, Aquarius, it's about what you need to do to obtain what your outcome card is all about. This is being slow and steady. That kind of wins the race. It is an indication to start implementing things for your future, for your happiness, security, being able to relax, retire in the future. And of course, it's Pentacles. It's got to do with money and finance, and there's just such a strong indication here that what you're doing for a living, if it is immensely stressful, if you do not like your job, one thing that you need to do is change up that energy. And the nights bring in change and movement and travel. And I am picking up for some Aquarians, you are going to be making some changes, and it's going to be in regards to what you do for a living. You could be starting to look um, like um, putting feelers out, uh, networking with companies, start seeing what you could be doing, where you could have a better um, work-life balance. So Knight of Coins here is planting the seeds for your future, your happiness, security, health, and well-being. So very strong message in regards to the work that you do. And also for some Aquarians, start looking at uh, if the work that you do will be around in a couple of years, there is so much advancing with the technology that you need to look at what you do for a living. Is it going to be sustainable with the world changing so much? And this Knight of Coins here is, you know, pay attention to this energy because this ends up being something that is long lasting. It's durable. It's dependable. So with that being your first card, it's really um, trying to shake things up so that you uh, start making changes now. Now, next, 
you have the five of coins, there is assistance for you. There's help nearby. You know, the stained glass window here represents assistance. It's the light coming through. And what this is telling me in regards to the work that you do or possibly what you'd rather be doing, there is a pathway. There are resources you can tap into to get you into a better job, a better field, a better circumstance, which will then increase the odds for you to have the Ten of Cups energy, this happily ever after energy. Now, also, five of coins can mean a lack of funds, but I'm picking up more that this will be forthcoming if you don't make some changes. So this five numerology here is something, um, it's an energy of just shaking things up. And with it being the coins, the pentacles, again, it could shake up your financial world if you do not listen to the message here with the knight of coins. This is about taking a good look at maybe a situation you're in, especially if it's a financial one, the job that you're in. Is it really stressful? Start looking, start putting out feelers, put out resumes, start networking, contacting companies, even if they're not advertising. Get the attention out there. With this five of coins, the five numerology, as I said, it's shaken things up in a financial way. And the first step is the hardest. So there are resources available. There are opportunities available. There is a potential for you to get your work life, um, your work home balance back in sync where it's not just all work and no play. Now for the Aquarians who are absolutely happy with the job that you have, you are already planting the seeds for your future. And you're in a position with this five of coins, five of pentacles, to help people around you that are less fortunate. Now, last card here is the eight of cups. Definitely, you're going to be making a choice in regards to how you feel about a situation that you're in. This definitely can be what we've been talking about, your current job, and you're going to be moving off into a better situation. Eight of Cups, again, that's your choice. You are making the decision. You're moving off in a new direction, following your gut feelings. And the eight numerology here is what's influencing you to make this change. Your circumstance, your situation, needing more money, or being just too stressed in your current job or the situation that you're in, whatever this could be involving. So this week, it's kind of like the universe is pushing you into a more balanced lifestyle, moving you away from being uh, anchored down, uh, anxious, stressed out, overworked, and all your energy is drained every single day of the week. Your crystal for the week is kyanite, and it says make time for self-care. Taking care of yourself is essential right now. This week, Aquarius, is all based on your health and well-being and whatever is giving you the most amount of stress or imbalance in your life. For the majority of Aquarians, this could be the job that you do, but there could be some other situation or circumstance, relationship, possibly where you're living, things of that nature that fall into the same category where you need to start gathering you know, your resources to do something about it. So kyanite usually shows up whenever you've been maybe putting your own needs last on the list, Aquarius. It can be simply being overly busy, not feeling that you have enough time for rest, exercise, eating healthy, your spiritual practices, and other forms of self-care. So really coming in loud and strong. Self-care isn't optional, but necessary for your health, happiness, and life purpose. And that's what your Ten of Cups card indicates, elevating your life so that you no longer feel drained, overworked, and like a victim. So this is specifically telling you, Aquarius, to carve out some time for yourself. Now, your Oracle message here, broken open. I almost feel like this is coming through as a warning because this is a card of what I'm going to say 
severe disappointment, loss, maybe grief. And I really feel that your cards are indicating what you need to do now, Aquarius, to avoid this energy, this broken open energy. That's really having to deal with something unfortunate. Let's just say like a difficult experience. And I do feel for some of you, you need to take a look at what you're doing for your job. Is it sustainable in the future? Is what you're doing going to be there in a few years? So definitely broken open is in regards to possible difficulties, challenges, lessons that you can avoid if you take a good look at what needs to change in your life. Primarily, whatever is giving you stress. Could it be where you're currently living? Could you move into a more simpler, more minimalistic home environment, you know, type of space like downsizing? Is it in regards to relationships, friendships around you that are very demanding, a lot of obligations, responsibilities? Take a look at that. And certainly what the cards are really indicating is in regards to the job that you do. And take a good hard look at that, Aquarius, as you want to avoid this broken open message, difficulties in the future, if you don't realize the possible circumstances that could take place. And one of it is just mainly for your own health and well-being, you know, your self-care. So take a good look at what's really draining you, what's really making you worried and stressed and anxious. And that's the area that you need to think about. What can you do to change that energy, to bring things more back into balance? Final message here, Aquarius, is from the Making Magic deck. So let's see what you receive. Final message for Aquarius. You have Awen, three rays of light, balancing male and female energies, peace and harmony. I love it. So that's an additional confirmation that make time for self-care, Aquarius. Start looking at uh, whatever is difficult in your life, whether it be relationships, your job, where you're living. Take a look at all the obligations, responsibilities, and start prioritizing what's most important to you. And of course, that is your health and well-being, your happiness, your five of coins here is a huge message, Aquarius, that there are resources available to you. You just need to start now. Knight of Coins is telling you what you decide this week will determine your outcome here. All right, Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and visit my website if you'd like a private reading. Love and Abundance to my Aquarius family.